Hey guys, welcome back to this tutorial on how to control a DC fan using a thermistor and an N-channel MOSFET. Now we've done so far three tutorials in which we have explained how this circuit operates and went through the construction of the circuit and discussed the list of components needed to have this circuit assembled. Now in this tutorial, we're mainly going to focus on how to calculate this resistance here. Now this resistance is connected, if you can see, it's connected between your gate and your source. Now that is a resistance that is setting the voltage divider with the thermistor. And that divider, that and that voltage is then being fed into your gate as the threshold voltage. Now if I apply my soldering iron, you can see that the fan is turning on and the hotter the thermistor gets, the faster the fan will turn. But right now, I'm not sure, I'm not exactly sure what is the current temperature set that this uh, threshold is reaching 4 volt and the fan is turning. Now, that temperature set is influenced by the value of the resistance between the gate and the source. So, in this tutorial, we're going to see how to calculate the value of this get to source resistance in order to have an exact temperature set let's say we want this fan to turn on 60 degrees now what value of resistance between get to source are we going to choose to ensure that this fan indeed does turn at 60 degrees so stay tuned we're going to see how to go through that selection Obviously, we're going to make use of the thermistor data sheet in order to help us with that calculations. And once again, guys, if you like this tutorial, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Simtech channel. That will be highly appreciated. So let's go and see how to select this get to source resistance for a selected temperature set point. Okay, so here we have our circuit and we have the problem statement so now consider yourself a technician or an engineer working on a system and you've been asked to set up a circuit that will turn this fan at 60 degrees so now you need to go into your MOSFET data sheet your thermistor data sheet in order to do all the calculation necessary so that this fan here can turn on at exactly 60 degrees so we have it as a form of a problem statement now given the circuit below comprising of a 100 k ntc that's a negative temperature coefficient thermistor and a non resistor which is the one that you need to calculate and a n channel mosfet driving a dc fan now determine the value of the unknown resistance needed to turn the fan on at 60 degrees okay now the first thing to do here is obviously you need to look at your thermistor data sheet now using the thermistor data sheet you have to write down the value of rth that is the thermistor resistance that correspond to 60 degrees now because we know that these thermistor here have an internal resistance that vary according to the temperature so for every temperature set there is a corresponding resistance so you have to look now into the data sheet and write down the corresponding resistance value for 60 degrees so let's go ahead and find our thermistor data sheet now for a 100k standard thermistor this is the output table that i found on the internet there's quite a lot of data sheet for these standard thermistors that you can find. As you can see, this is a typical thermistor output. As you can see, the value of the resistance will be decreasing based on the temperature. And you can see basically from 125, 150 degrees, the thermistor will have a value an effective resistance in ohm almost of zero ohm and you can make a projection here there is a value of 50 
this is 5k if we have to look at it it's 5000 ohm so that is 5k is projecting at about 40 something almost 50 degrees but okay we don't have to look at the, the graph let's come over here on this data table and look for 60 degrees because we want to turn our thermistor at 60 degrees as you can see here there is 60 degrees let's just make sure because they are degree c and degree Fahrenheit. okay these are the degree Fahrenheit and these are the degree c so 60.5 that's roughly 60 degrees for us and that is equivalent to 141 degree Fahrenheit. okay now the thermistor resistance that is equivalent to 60 degrees is 22.1 kilo ohm that's 22,000 ohm we know that at 60 degrees the thermistor resistance is going to be 22.1 kilo ohm okay so now that we know that information we can then write it down so we know that our thermistor is equal to 22.11 kilo ohm at 60 degrees now what we need what we are looking for is the value of this resistance now we can call this resistance r1 so we need a value of this resistance that will set up a voltage divider with this 22.1 kilo ohm to give us a threshold voltage of 4 volt so that's what we need a value of r1 to give us a threshold voltage of 4 volt to trigger so that the thermistor uh, the dc fan can start turning so this is now our circuit so we got our thermistor and this is r1 that's a 12 volt from the supply and this is a v threshold 4 volt that must go into the gate of the n channel mosfet as you can see we've completed a voltage divider circuit okay now the voltage divider formula is very simple v threshold okay v threshold so that is the value of the output voltage of the divider is equal to the voltage drop across this resistance r1 divided by the voltage drop across r1 plus the voltage drop across r thermistor so that is vr1 over vr1 plus vr th times the input voltage now we know what is the input voltage in this case the input voltage is 12 volt now expanding our formula we get v threshold is equal to i r1 because v r1 can be uh, replaced by the voltage drop that is across the resistance okay r1 and r thermistor now as you can see in the following formula here we've got quite a couple of unknown here we don't know what is the current is going to be that is i so it's a series circuit so the current flowing from 12 volt is the same current that is going to flow down below here so it's a series circuit that's the same current that's flowing we don't know the value of r1 that's exactly what we're looking for but we know the value of rth and we know the in we are also know what is v threshold that is going to be 4 volt so basically we can put our problem statement we got v threshold 4 volt you got v in that is 12 volt r thermistor that is 22.11 kilo ohm and we're looking for r1 and we don't have i okay so what we're going to do now here is to manipulate our equations so by manipulating our equation we then factor the i out okay we factor i out and that basically means we can cancel this i so now we don't have to worry about i anymore so our equation become much simpler so we only have now v threshold is equal to r1 over r1 plus rth times v in now from here we can start working it out so we replace the v threshold with 4 volt and r1 we don't have the value then we replace rth we replace rth that is our thermistor with 22.11 kilo ohm and our v in that is equal to 12. further transformations yield 4r1 plus 
88.44 kilo ohm equal to 12 r1 so what we've basically done here is we've multiplied this expression here with the 4 and r1 is already multiplying the 12 that basically why we have this expression here so the 4 is multiplying the r1 and the 4 is also multiplying the 22.11 kilo ohm then this is how we get to this expression here and moving forward we then can regroup the like terms so we know that we are looking for r1 so we bring this 12 r1 on this side and then the 88.44 kilo ohm we shift it to the other side and we know when the term switch the side it goes to the other side of the equality so it become a negatives and vice versa so now we got 4 r1 minus 12 r1 is equal to minus 88.44 okay now we can just do these basic subtractions between the two and do and so this operation yield us minus 8 r1 that is equal to minus 88.44 kilo ohm and we can multiply both sides with minus one so basically this minus will cancel out so we not going to have a negative number anymore and that basically will mean r1 is now going to be equal to this expression divided by this 80 and that is 88.44 kilo ohm okay now thus is going to be equal to 11.055 kilo ohm now what does this mean this mean that replacing r1 here the resistance across the gate and the source because this is a gate this one is a gate and this one is a source okay and the metal pin here is our drain now replacing this resistance is get source resistance with 11.055 kilo ohm in the circuit will turn this fan on at exactly 60 degrees now that is the calculation we've just done here okay now let's prove that our calculations is indeed on spot we haven't just wasted our time in doing this so Let's prove this first on a simulation circuit and then we're going to prove it on a real circuit. Okay? Now in the previous tutorial, I've already explained how this circuit work on the simulation here. So if I run this circuit, we can see that the fan is not turning and that basically because the threshold is below 4 volt. Now I'm going to increase the value of the temperature and so we can see where it's turning okay so now we can see that this fan is basically turning at about 40 46 degrees here okay that's yeah 45 46 degree that's where we're getting the 4 volt and it's starting to turn okay now this is based on the value of r1 being equal to 20.05 kilo ohm now we've just done the calculation and we found that the value of r1 must be 11.055 kilo ohm so that the thermistor the the fan can turn on at exactly 60 degrees so now if we replace we just edit here we don't have to replace it so let's just double click and change the value here so we we calculated the value to be 11.055 kilo ohm now let's press ok so now we've just changed the value of r1 now if we now run this we'll see that the fan is not turning but when this value was 20 kilo ohm this fan was turning and look at our threshold it dropped now look at our threshold our threshold is sitting at 2.73 volt it just dropped from the 4 volt and the temperature is sitting at 47 degrees and this 47 degree was actually turning the fan on when the value of r1 was 20 degrees so now what need to happen is we need to increase this hopefully this fan is going to turn on when we get to 60 degrees so let's see if our calculation indeed yielded a positive result as we can see we're edging closer 
to 60 degree okay at 60 degree we're getting some movement it's not really yet yet but there is something happening if you observe and the threshold is almost 4 volt so if we just increase the temperature by another degree that is 61 so marginally the fan is turning at 61 degree so you can clearly see that how a calculations was indeed on point okay so we haven't wasted our time by doing that calculation so 11 kilo ohm is indeed turning this fan at 60 degrees but now the hotter this thing is going to get that is the faster our fan is going to turn and that is exactly how this circuit operate now this is a simulation now i promise that we're going to also replace the this value on a real board so that we can see uh, that the fan indeed is going to be turning at 60 degrees okay guys here we are I've managed to find the resistance value close enough to the one we calculated uh, we calculated 11.055 kilo ohm now this one here is a 12k as you can see it's a brown red orange that is 12 kilo ohm so when i measure it you can see there on the multimeter we're getting 12 kilo ohm let me just put a multimeter right on the screen there so the resistance value is 12k 12 kilo ohm so from 11.055 kilo ohm to 12k so basically it is very much marginal so that mean how a thermistor should i mean how a fan should come on somewhere there at 59 or something 60 degree basically so it's not too far so what i'm going to do here since i already have this one here that is connected i think it's a 22k I'm just going to disconnect it, just cut one leg so that I can find a way to include this one into the circuit. So that's going to be a quick exercise. So I'm just going to cut right here. Like that. Now you see as soon as I cut, the fan started turning at full speed. Let me bring it in as you can see, it started turning at full speed. And that basically mean we only relying on the thermistor resistance to set the threshold there is no longer a voltage divider so the threshold is probably way above 4 volt i'm getting 12 volt that is really way too much and it can actually damage the mosfet so i'm going to turn it off i'm going to turn it off and then i'm going to connect these 12k and we're going to see that the time it's going to take to come on actually going to incre uh, increase a little because now the temperature need to increase to around 60 degrees. Okay, so I have now soldered the resistance, the 12K resistance between the gate and the source. Now the previous resistance that was connected is this one here that we got one leg hanging if I can measure it. You can see the reading there, it says 21.7 kilo ohm. So basically the temperature set point was, we can assume it was half. Okay, since we haven't done the calculation there. Now this is the one I've included. When I measure it, across it, I'm reading 10.7. Now this is not a 12K, because now remember, it is now connected in parallel with the gate source resistance whatever the resistance of the gate source is for this irf840 so that's in it's now in parallel with it so now that's basically it now when i'm going to put my soldering iron to heat up this thermistor now let me first switch it on switch on the voltage so i've got 12 volt you can see the fan is not turning so when i apply my soldering iron it's not turning on it's taking a little bit of time now i can assure you the previous one was turning much faster now this one need to rise and as soon as it rises to 60 degrees or more then the fan started start turning and that basically 
what we have achieved in this tutorial by setting the temperature set point. And now we can't say for sure how much is exactly the temperature that's turning that fan on. So I'm going to look for a sensor temperature monitor that we can put close to this thermistor. Maybe we can get an approximated value of the temperature that is uh, turning this fan on. But as of now, we we can be assured that it's turning at around 60 degrees based on the calculations. Because these LTC thermistors are actually very good for this kind of uh, application. As I'm applying my heat again, it's taking time to rise to 60 degrees. As soon as it rises to 60 degrees, then the fan started turning. Okay, so that's it guys. If you like this tutorial, please I will appreciate the thumbs up. Hit the like button now and subscribe to SimTech channel. There will be more tutorial of this nature with different type of experiment in electronics. Until next time, cheers.